Okay, lads, write down all the different arrangements of the uh, of the following. Okay. So. Okay, Gordon. So. What we have here is uh, write down all the different ranges that can be made from the digits 6, 7, 8, and 9. Given that no digit can be repeated, taking three digits at a time. Keyword is three digits at a time. This part here. Okay, that's the key part. Once you figure out that, you make a box. Your box then will have three different parts in it, three different compartments. You have a choice of how many digits to choose from. Four. Four. And you're not allowed to repeat them. So an example would be if I wanted to make the combo six, 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 that's not allowed. Because you're only allowed to use six once. With this restriction in place, what happens next is we only have four numbers to choose from for any given digit. We have to start off with one of them. Which you have four. Once we use up one of them, it can be any of them, we only have three left to choose from. And then when we use the second one up, then there's only two left to choose from. And then Using our fundamental principle of counting, you have four ways of choosing the first one, three ways to choose the second one, two ways of choosing the third one. We'll give you 24 different combinations in total. Any questions on that? You good? Okay. Okay, guys. How many different ranges taking three letters at a time can be made from the word take? Alright, so take. Now yeah, there's an if there as well, so we'll just go watch out for that. Different ranges taking three letters at a time. What do we need to construct? Three letters, three boxes. A box, uh, three boxes. Is it really necessary to do that now? Uh, for me it is. I actually get really stuck in these sometimes, so I actually draw the boxes at the time. Uh, that takes ever so slightly longer, but I don't like it in my head too much. I like to write it down one and down. Uh, first letter must be A. What? How many? How many choices for the first letter do I therefore have? Only only one choice because it has to be an A. So E is out of the reckoning. How many letters can go in slot number two? Three. Any of the three. And then once one of them disappears, what about the next one? Two. What's our answer then for this one? Six. One multiply by three multiply by two. Six. What did you say? Three multiply by two multiply by one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the one has to be the first letter, so that's why I put it in that order. My, my answer would be easier to follow, I'd say, but your answer is still right. The first letter must be an A. It's going to be the same answer, isn't it? Yeah. Same answer. The first letter must be an A. Only one letter can go in here. Three letters can go in the second one. Two can go in the first one. Six. First letter must be a vowel. How many choices do you have for vowels in this question? Uh, a and E are two vowels, so you have two choices. Okay. Let's say in a particular example, I chose the A. How many letters is there to choose for the second one? Three letters left. Then I choose the K as an example. How many letters left then? Two. So this will be two by three by two gets me twelve. Okay. Now, uh, four children, Abigail, Barrett, Cal, and David, are to be seated in a row on a bench. I never done this one yesterday, okay? So we draw four, uh, what's it, four, four boxes. There, there. Now, upon drawing the four boxes, okay, Barrett has to sit on the left hand side. What does that mean? One in the left hand side. All the other kids don't really care where they sit. So I have a choice of three for the second seat. And then two followed by one. That'll get me six. You have enough for that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next question on. I'm looking at it. If Barrack must sit on the left hand side, only one person is allowed to sit on the left. It is Barrack. Only one person is allowed to sit on the right hand side. That's Carl, which is one person. Yes. Then there's a choice of how many people can sit in the second slot then? Two. Two. And then once we pick Abigail for that position, David. How many in total? Two. Two people in total. Is that right? 
No. We didn't have it anyway, so Oh yeah, let's go through it anyway. No. Caused confusion yesterday. Uh, how many different arrangements are possible if there is no restrictions on seating? No restrictions whatsoever. How many people can go in the first one? Oh, Dan. Oh, uh, Dan. And that one. Uh, 24. Now, here comes the hard one. This is the one we always get confused on, okay? Uh, what happens next is. I have a way for dealing with this type of question, okay? And unfortunately, it's just going to come down to memory on the day. What is my way for dealing with when two people, two books, or two objects have to be beside each other? Treat them as one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub out one of the barriers here. Now, all of a sudden, instead of three, uh, four boxes, I now have three boxes, okay? And what we're going to do is the two objects that want to sit together are Carl and Davis. Cal and, Davis are, uh, Cal and David are now treated as one object. I'll call them object M as an example. Okay? Now, what's, what's the problem with Cal and David in their own box? Cal and David can be Cal and David or it can be David and. Um. So the answer has to be multiplied by two. two. Okay? Mick? This one here. Okay? Uh, how many, if this is treated as one object, how many objects can go in the first box? One, two, three. Okay. Second object? Third object? Three by two? Six, six multiplied by two? Twelve. Okay, always when two things want to sit beside each other. Okay. I will, if I have a test in this, that question will reappear. So you want to put an asterisk beside it. I want, might not be the same names, it might not be two people, but two objects will want to be beside each other. Yeah? You don't put the times two in the box, so what do you mean on the side? Sorry? The times two, excuse me, on the side. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I get confused otherwise. Now, a widget com corporation. That's your the Widget Corporation operates a factory in the Midlands. There are 210 people employed, 80% uh, of whom drive to work. A new car park with entrance and exit barriers is constructed for the elusive, exclusive, yeah. <laughs> exclusive use of employees. Each employee who drives to work is given a different code to access and leave the car park. The code is made up of three letters from the word Widget. How many different codes can be made if no letter is repeated and if repetition is allowed? So they made up a lot of gibberish up here to confuse us, like 80%, 210 people. None of that matters. The question actually starts here. That, that's, that's it. That's, that's, that's basically your, uh, that's basically your, your question. The rest of the stuff is still spelled numbers to confuse you for the time being. Okay, so what can you tell me about uh, what can you tell me about this? If no letter is repeated, uh, how many letters are we picking? Six. We have six, but how many without choose? Three. 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 Six, six. So six by five by four. four. One twenty. Okay. Oh, if let yeah. Well, oh, no, I just did it right by like, like I did instead of uh, those ones out of three by two by one. I did five by four, and then instead of six out of three by two. Uh, that that won't really make sense because it's it's three three. It's a three letter code, so yeah. six in the first slot. It's a coincidence more than okay. by design. Yeah. How come you did six by four? Because I have a choice of six letters. But if you stopped there, you didn't go three. Because I'm only allowed to use three. Three letters. Three boxes for three letters. Yes. It was a five digit code, I'd use five boxes. If it was a six digit code, I'd use six boxes. Yes. Boxes is how many letters you actually need. Alright? If letter repetition is allowed, six, six, six. six multiplied by six multiplied by six, 216. Mm -hmm. Which one is a uh, better suited? Well, look, we have 210 people. Six. Six, six, six. six uh, sorry, the second one, repetitions allowed. Now, you, what, can anybody put a counter argument in for, for letting repetition be allowed? It's easier to practice your master's 
if so, people are lazy and they might just go B B B or say I I I D D D G G G. People might end up picking the same code, which could be problematic. But that's just that's just the yeah, bottom line is stick with the numbers. Two sixteen bigger than two ten, it works. One hundred twenty is too small. One hundred twenty is smaller than eighty percent of two ten. So either way, the one twenty is too small. Okay. Now, uh, what we doing next? This one here. Personal identification number pin for credit card for, uh, for credit card consists of four digits. Write down the smallest pin number you can think of. Anybody? Okay. Write down the largest pin number you can think of. Okay. Get the just this. Uh, how many four-digit pin uh, codes can be formed? How many choices do we have for the first one? Nine. Not nine, because zero, it doesn't exclude zero. Uh, ten. Ten. Uh, no, ten again, because it mentions nothing but repetition. Ten and ten. It says we're left, it doesn't say uh, repetition is not allowed. So, for instance, we're using zero, 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 zero as one code, nine, 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 nine as another code. We can choose. We can choose any numbers between uh, 0 and 9. 0 to 9 is actually 10 numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's 10 numbers. So we can use any of the 10 numbers for my first number, any of the 10 numbers for my second number, any of the 10 numbers for third, any of the 10 numbers for fourth. Now all we got to do is multiply them out. Uh, it's going to be 100 times 10, 1,000, 10,000. Now, a bank issues 185,904 customers a credit card. Can the bank supply a different four digit PIN number for, to each of these uh, customers just for your answer? No. The answer is no. We only have 10,000 available to us. So therefore, I cannot offer a different PIN code for each one. Nor would anybody in the world love to have to call 0000. Okay? Just wouldn't be, they wouldn't feel safe with it. Okay?